Hi guys, it's Summers here and today it's time to have a look at some of the renders of the Haas VF19 that the team released to coincide with their library reveal. Now of course the big story of today was actually the car's colour scheme which now carries the rich energy branding. However, if like me you're a little bored of JPS knockoffs, you might find solace in taking a closer look at some of the new car's intricacies. First up is the 2019 spec front wing which features the now default 5 elements and restrictive end plate design. However, Haas have clearly worked on recovering some of the downforce that would have been lost when deleting all of those additional flicks and winglets seen on the previous cars and have worked some magic with the foot plate. The foot plate, if you don't know, is that little curved section on the edge that's used to create a vortex and push airflow around the front of the tyre. The new regs were supposed to prevent this sort of thing from happening, but obviously the teams will try hard to find a way to recover their losses, and so far it appears that Haas have done so by shortening the foot plate, altering how that vortex forms. It's a trick we've actually seen performed by Red Bull and Ferrari over the last few seasons. The VF19 features an S-duct, which carries airflow from the underside of the nose through a pipework to the upper surface, reducing the chance of airflow separation. It also helps to tidy up airflow on the underside of the nose too. Carried over from last year's car but refined further is the side pod concept first seen on Ferrari's 2017 Challenger, whereby the upper side impact spar is slung down as low as possible to improve flow into and around the side pods. This is complemented by an array of aerodynamic surfaces, including a new elegant L-shaped deflector array which both frames the side pods and meets with the floor's lower axe head. The mirrors have been moved to comply with the new regulations that should improve the driver's rear view. The team have added an additional support here to increase in rigidity, but this will clearly also serve an aerodynamic purpose. The team have converged on a solution used by Mercedes last year that sees the tail of their halo create an outlet on the cockpit's flank. This will help to cool the power unit and has possibly resulted in the team being able to reduce their cooling capacity elsewhere. Following on from Ferrari's lead, primarily due to their supply from the works team, Haas have adopted the cricket bat style upper rear wishbone solution. Thicker at the upright end, it's also raised away from the shoulder of the tyre, improving airflow around the suspension and the tyre. The rear wing complies with the new regulations in regards to having no louvers in the upper corner. These were previously used by teams to displace the vortex formed at the wing's tip, which you may have seen in damp conditions before, and have also resulted in the team utilising a much smaller cutout behind. You'll also know that the team have gone aggressive in the end plate's transition zone, utilising a number of strikes that will work the airflow particularly hard, hopefully improving balance and the overall downforce created, whilst reducing drag. Following on from a test done by Ferrari last year, the team have mounted their wastegates vertically above the main exhaust outlet, and I now suspect we'll see the works team do much the same when their car breaks cover in a few days' time. Last but by no means least, it seems that Haas have been working hard with their wheel supply to overcome some of the aerodynamic losses that the new wheels have created. A band can be seen on both the front and rear wheels that may form part of a larger system, much like the one we saw Mercedes use at the end of last season or could just be used to help to control the otherwise more chaotic and turbulent wake generated by the rear and tyre. I hope you've enjoyed this short analysis and if you have, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more F1 content, especially during this busy launch period. 